When the Mercedes-AMG GT emerged back in 2014 as the lighter, nimbler, and cheaper successor to the SLS AMG, not only were the 456 horsepower base and 503 horsepower S variants arguably among the company's most focused and well-balanced performance cars since the original 300 SL, the coupes finally gave Mercedes something it had always lacked, legitimate competition for Porsche's iconic 911 Carrera. Key to the 911 Carrera's lasting popularity is the sheer variety of models offered, including the most basic stick shift coupe, the opulent, 580 horsepower Turbo S Cabriolet, and the hypervisceral, track oriented GT3. With each Porsche feeling as special as, or more special than, the last, Mercedes knew it eventually would have to cook up more flavors of the GT to give the 911 a run for its money. Three years on, as the AMG coupes undergo mid-cycle enhancements and slight horsepower bumps to 469 and 515 horsepower, reinforcements have finally arrived. Four additional models triple the GT lineup for 2018, the long-awaited Roadster version of the GT, new GTC coupe and Roadster models with 550 horses and comprehensive AMG performance enhancements, and the Wicked track-focused 577 horsepower GTR, a monster coupe that topped our 2017 lightning lap competition. The six-model lineup definitely will help the GT compete with the 911, but does each feel special in and of itself? We're on a mission to find out, having just tested a new GTC Roadster, which seems purpose-built to go head-to-head -head with Porsche's sporting 911 GTS Cabriolet. As it turns out, However close it may be to matching or surpassing its Porsche nemesis on paper, the AMG offers delights all its own. The GTC Roadster is gorgeously curvaceous, from its convex Panamera Cana grille to its tapered rear end, and looks as beautiful as its coupe counterpart despite lacking the dome-like roof. As do the 911 GTS and the Chevrolet Corvette Z06 in comparison with their lesser siblings, the GTC features a wider rear end than the GT slash GTS, some 2.7 inches wider in this case, to accommodate a greater rear track and fatter rear tires, size 305 slash 30 ZR20, up from 295 slash 35 ZR19. Standard rear-wheel steering offers up to 1.5 degrees of toe movement. Flared side sills and active front aero splitters are both highlighted rather garishly in chrome unless one springs for the $750 exterior night package that renders most bright work in gloss black. This car's black soft top might have looked more interesting against its $720 brilliant blue paint in the optional brown. But even specced exactly like our test car the GTC Roadster is fantastic to behold. We weren't alone in our admiration, as we found while driving all around Los Angeles, where six-figure convertibles are as common as palm trees and dubious service animals. We couldn't have gotten more attention if we had Playboy bunnies shooting fireworks off the trunk. Tourists, tour guides, street merchants, and even LAPD officers craned their necks and gaped. Dropping the top would drop jaws, putting the GTC's remarkable lowness and its formidable 79.0-inch width, just 0.4-inch narrower than the 2018 Rolls-Royce Phantom, on full display. Those who didn't see the car could certainly hear the deep rumbling exhaust note delivered by the GTC's standard AMG performance exhaust system. With the car's driving mode set to S+, a throttle blip followed by a delicious whip crack pop 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 on overrun was always good for a thumbs up or two. Babylon